Welcome to the competitive world of Rainbow Six Siege. The following video will explain how Rainbow Six Esports works in the European region, how the region fits into the global esports program, and what you can do to get involved in Rainbow Six competitive play. First off, let's set the scene. Globally, four regions compose the Rainbow Six Esports program, North America, Latin America, Asia Pacific, and Europe. Each region has its own dedicated competitive format that we'll dig into a little later. On a global scale, the Rainbow Six Esports program refreshes every year. One year equals one season, running from March to the following February. The four independent regional leagues run from March to December. These leagues are divided into three stages. At the end of each stage, the top four teams from each region will qualify for the Six Major, a global competition featuring the top 16 international teams. In parallel, the top four teams will qualify for the Six Major and will also earn points for the global standings according to their final placements in the competition. At the conclusion of the three stages in December, the 16 teams with the most points in the global standings will automatically qualify for the Six Invitational. Four extra teams will have one last chance to qualify for the competition through regional open qualifiers, making the Six Invitational a 20-team competition, the most prestigious Rainbow Six esports event, and a chance for teams to dominate the global stage and prove they are the best in the world. Let's move on to Europe and our unique league structure. In the European League, we have a total of 10 teams vying to win each season. These teams will compete in a round-robin system, meaning each team will face all the other teams. A win is rewarded with three points, a draw, one point, and zero for a loss. The stage ends when all the teams have faced each other once. The teams placed fifth to eighth will score points for the global standings. In parallel, the top four teams will qualify for the six majors, and depending on their final placement in this competition, will earn points for the global standings. Stages two and three follow the same model. Simple. In Europe, we also want to determine who the best team in the region truly is. In November, the rankings of the three stages are combined to form the final rankings of the season within the region. The top four teams will battle it out for the title of European Champion during a special LAN event. On the other side of the final rankings, the last team will be relegated to the European Challenger League for the next season, while the team ranked ninth will compete in the relegation playoffs against the second team from the Challenger League. The European Challenger League is the entry point to the European League, but before going there, teams need to prove their skills on their national field. All the major European countries host a league with their best local teams. The national champion will get a slot in the upcoming European Challenger League. If the national champion is already in the European League, the runner-up takes their place. All the national champions, along with the winner of the European Open Qualifier, will head to the European Challenger League. Only the top two will then have a chance to enter the next season of the European League. In short, the European Rainbow Six Esports program has an open structure, meaning that each and every player has the chance to compete from local community tournaments to the biggest stage of Rainbow Six Esports, the Six Invitational. It's yours for the taking. Join us by watching our weekly broadcast or competing in the official competitions. Thanks for watching.